Hi, this is Nancy Garnan, and I am standing in Marisol, senior living community, where there's private property, it's walking trails and common use areas are for use of uh, Marisol residents only. This is a single family home. This single family home, and you can see there's a skylight up there to the right of the fireplace. It's just one of the, it's just, this is a premier living community and the more I get to find out about it and know about it, the ex more excited I get about Marisol and there's a good chance that when I'm ready to retire and have a carefree lifestyle that this is where I will choose to live. So some of the things that they have inside the community is an event center where if you wanted a bistro style continental breakfast every morning, you could go there to have that. They have people that get together to play bridge. They have people that get together to, um, oh, I can't even think because actually there's so much I can't even keep up. So as you can see here, I'm walking up the ramp. So there's less places to trip and fall and worry about things than in a lot of homes. They've taken a lot of care in filling this, planning this home out. So let's go ahead and enter. And when you come into this, and I've got the fireplace on, and it's just warm and friendly, and oops, there's that sun shining in the window and making it hard for my camera to adjust. Ceiling fan. This is the larger unit. This one's a two bedroom with a study office. You have a dining area here. Now it's kind of formal, but it's actually informal too because it's open to the kitchen. You have a great little island. And then there's also a study office. So this is a two bedroom with a study office. Now the study office, okay, could also be converted to a third bedroom if you want it to be. It's got some lovely windows. And let's take a look over here. And this is a closet. So I wasn't lying when I said it could be a third bedroom. And those views outside today are just gorgeous. You know, it's supposed to be this particular week, a very warm week. Now there's not gonna be a house as far as I remembered in looking at the plat right there. So let's take a look at that. Dining room with a light that needs to be dropped. You have an eat-in kitchen area. Let's go check out the kitchen. And I'm trying to do this as if you're here with me. So you could have your two tables here, eat in the kitchen area, look outside, keep an eye out on your neighbors. Um, this is a great area for walking. And one of the things that I want to kind of point out to you is as I'm standing in this house, I see, and I don't know if you can too, I'm gonna to try. I see the mountains, I see Long's Peak. And yeah, during the summer, the tree's gonna hide it. Darn it! Well, don't cut down that tree. It's still a lovely tree. So let's get back and look at this kitchen and check this out. Because this is your living space of the house and where you'll spend the most time. Of course, you have the washer and dryer. I love the sink, the extra large size to be able to put in the larger pans. It's got one of those fancy pull-out sprayers. And you can see I'm so technical, but I like to um, kind of just take our time and move slowly. So there's a built-in microwave, a flat range oven, which is wonderful to have, side-by-side, -side. refrigerator with ice and water. You have a pantry here, and in the hallway there's a linen closet and a regular closet for your clothing. So now let's check out where the laundry room is, and it's really nice. It's right here by the kitchen, so when you're in the kitchen doing everything else, you can also keep a track of your laundry. In the garage, now this is nice, it's finished. It's got a garage door opener. There's no steps. Check this out. You have a ramp that's built in that's soft and easy to use, and this room kind of echoes. I'm going to have to look to see how big this is, but um, I forgot. I should have looked at that before I started the video, and unfortunately I didn't carry the flyer with me to do this. This is a storage closet out here, and then you have your furnace in one of these closets and the water heater. 
So it's inside the house. There's no basement with these places to have to try to carry things up and downstairs because you know what? You don't want to do that anyway. So let's step out on this back patio, <coughs> which you have access to look out from one of the bedrooms. And you actually have a door to come into from the master bedroom. And, oh, that's kind of an artsy photo, isn't it? And you have direct access from inside the house to go outside. I've sold some houses where you have to go through a bedroom to get to the back patio. So you can set tables out here. Now this is on the east side, so this would have the morning sun. And you've got just nice rolling hills to take a look at. Just a lovely place to be. And you see the air conditioner compressor, so you know it already has air conditioning. That works really good in those Colorado summers that are hotter than they used to be. Now, just kind of to take a look, let's slow up here for a second. This garage door, when you see one foot out of both sides of a garage, it's 20 and usually 20 deep. This looks like it's got an extra four feet, maybe more on that side, two feet on this side. So it gives you a feeling that it truly is oversized, which is nice because then you can move around and not feel too crowded. Okay, let's go check out the hallway. So we've got the front door right there and straight back is the door to go out. Um, tiny little linen closet. If you wanted to extend it out to a pantry, you could or put in your rain boots or whatever you want and then you have a nice little coat closet right here by the front living room that fireplace is going i just got to show this to you it's kind of hard on a day like today oh there you go see look taking a look at me waldo's not doing very good but just a lovely fire lots of room and flexibility to set up your furniture so let's go check out this is the bathrooms and so, nice, and I never know for sure how those light fixtures show up. I don't have all the lights on. I like the fact that you could lay in bed, lay in the tub and use one of those things to hold your books or whatever for reading. This is the second bedroom. It's got little closets on both sides, so you can put your bed here, lay back, and let's see if we can't look out the window and get a better view. So you're not looking into your neighbors, and I think that's a big bonus. Unless you like looking into your neighbors, then we have to look at a different house for you. Nice size master bedroom. And here's that deck that we were looking at before. You have with this lovely home. And you know, one of the things that's really nice is the height of the ceilings. See, there's the door. And then there's probably 30 inches. I don't have my tape measure with me, and so I can't measure. This is a master bath. A lot of great light. There's the soak uh, tub for taking a bath. And then what I really like is the shower. So the shower is one of those showers that you can just walk into. You don't have a big lip to step over. And a nice tall shower head. So if you're one of those people that's tall, you can actually not have to have the shower hit the back of your back. And then there's the light that's part of the skylight. So let's check out the closet. I want you to see this too. There's shelving there for your book, book phew, shoes or sweaters. I was trying to say boots and that just didn't want to be come out. And then your coats and dresses. And of course, most of us wear shirts or jackets or whatever, and so that's why the double closet is just wonderful. So now, Marisol Community is just a wonderful place to live. There's so much to do here. It's not a senior living center as far as I'm concerned. It's an, it's an active area to live to be engaged. They do tours. They take the bus different places. Um, I'm going to be getting a video and we'll tag it on as a separate video to talk more about Marisol with testimonials of people that live here. And it's not just women, it's just not men, it's people. Men and women, they're active, they, buy, they go into bicycling, they play golf, they watch TVs together, they had a soup dinner the other night, 
it was so good I wanted to stay. And unfortunately, I had made plans ahead of time, and I didn't RSVP. Oh, well, I guess I'd have to pay to live here. Another reason to think about it. So thank you for visiting. This is the Rio Rancho plan. Very livable, and we hope that you call us to make arrangements to see it, and we would love to arrange a tour for you of the senior living community, which is very, very, very active. My name is Nancy Garnand with Remax Alliance. You can reach us by calling the team number at 970-622-1846. Once again, 970-622-1846. Or email us at livinginnortherncolorado at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.